Hey guys and welcome back to my space thank you for watching another cleaning log with me Vantasia today I'm gonna to be taking you along with me I am here in the hallway I have a basket right here on the ground I am just taking a knee right now because I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to get cleaning done all throughout our house okay I have some things here in our hallway and I also have the kids they're awake London and Jonah are in the room playing London isn't feeling too good, so we're gonna go ahead and get her back to some good health. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me just to share some things that we've been doing today. Nine o'clock in the morning, and y'all, I haven't even washed my face yet. I just got done braiding my hair. It does not, oh my goodness. So I just got done braiding my hair. It does not look perfect, but it is very beautiful to me, and I'm very proud of myself. I used to wear cornrows whenever I was a little girl, and I did not like it, y'all. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, my hair grew and it was so long and I absolutely loved when my hair was long. So your girl went ahead and put in some cornrows in her hair because I know y'all saw Cleo and set it off. I cannot be Cleo, but I am Fantasia. I can be me and I'm about to set it off for y'all. Jonah is playing with his wrestling man. I'm sorry, you okay? You okay? Okay, so we're in the hallway. Jonah is playing with his Avengers. London is in her bedroom, and I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. I really hope y'all enjoy it because this video is really different. This is just a regular daily log that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning log. You are just too goofy. What are you doing? I don't know. You don't know? Make him, make him get sick. We don't want you to be sick, okay? We just got you to good health. We don't want you to be sick again, do we? Daddy, tell me I'm sick. Yeah, you were sick. You're not sick anymore. You're fine now. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. It is 9.08. It's 9.08 and my battery is gonna die very soon. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take my battery out, put this battery on the charger, and then I'll be right back. I did have two batteries, you guys, but last night I misplaced one of my batteries. Last night I misplaced one of my batteries and now I don't know where one of my batteries is. 
until I find it, we're going to be stuck with one battery, but that's okay. I'm still going to take you guys along with me. All right, you guys, so I just came back downstairs. Jonah and London are upstairs. They're taking a nap. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little tired right now, but I can't go to sleep because I have a lot of different things that I wanna try to get done. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me and I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm in our living room right now. I am in our living room right now because I actually need to film a new intro for my YouTube channel. I think I'm gonna be doing like the same intro that I had in the past because I really did love that intro. I know that we have some Valentine's Day decor up. This this Valentine's Day was actually a really good Valentine's Day so I'm going to be keeping this stuff up and I'm going to be getting a new intro you know what I actually might go ahead and just take everything down in the living room and then get my new intro I am also going to be doing like a little bit of self-care and all types of things like that today so I'm going to be taking you guys along with me because I have a lot of different things that I want to get done for myself because I am excited I don't know if you guys are going to see that I don't know if you guys are going to see that but I am going to be sharing some behind the scene moments I am just wearing my little fanny pack. I actually picked this fanny pack up from American Eagle whenever I went. I really want to go to American Eagle to get some more new clothes. I wanted to get my whole entire wardrobe from American Eagle and I also wanted to go to Hollister and I have not let that go. So I'm going to be probably shopping there and I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. I'm excited because I haven't been able to shop there since I was a little girl y'all. And let me tell y'all something. I weigh less than I did when I was in high school. So you better believe your girl is about to be right back up in American Eagle and Hollister to get her some clothes because I'm excited. I did a transformation a few days ago and ever since I did it, I haven't shared with you guys how the room looks thus far. I shared with you guys earlier that London and Jonah London is a little sick so she's upstairs and she's just relaxing right now. We did give her some medicine this morning but I'm just trying to like keep an eye on her. I'm also writing down notes because I just want to make sure that everything is going smooth and accordingly and we just see her through this sickness with nothing else going on because she has been getting sick a lot. I know you guys know that we have Simon. We are going to be rehoming Simon because there has been a lot of different things happening at this apartment and Simon has been in the mix of it and I'm really really upset and I didn't even want to talk about it because Simon has really been going through it. So with that being said, we are gonna be rehoming Simon because we just have to make sure that everything is okay behind the scenes and that nothing else happens. This is a very hard decision for me because we did have to rehome our last baby, Cisco. And I really didn't want to get, I really didn't want to do that. So with that being said, we are going to rehome Simon. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm not going to go too far in depth with it. But I am just going to let you guys know that we are going to be rehoming him. So you guys don't find it as a shock whenever you don't see him. I don't want this to happen however sometimes changes need to happen so other things can take place and that's okay I think I might get me a small dog um, just to ease the pain and I'm not just saying that just now like I've been thinking about getting a small dog ever since we didn't have Cisco so my husband and I we have been talking about a little dog and who knows I might even get an actual support animal you know um i go through a lot on a daily basis and i feel like a support animal would be the best thing in the world for me so i am going to be looking into getting a new support animal so that we can go everywhere together and i'll have all the paperwork that i need for my support animal and myself and i am so excited about that so i'm going to be getting that done as well but aside from getting my support animal i am still a little upset and really I don't know how to feel that have to do with London as you guys know she does deal with um, eczema however you want to pronounce it London does deal with that and it's pretty pretty bad I have found I have found a really good solution to help out with her face so you can't tell just by looking at her face sometimes however sometimes whenever she have outbreaks they are super super bad I know that this is probably going to come as a shock or surprise to you guys because you guys have been with me for a very long time um if you guys have been rocking with us since we got simon then you know that he is one of my babies i treat him like seriously he's one of my own however right now we do have to think about the underlying reasons and also think about other things that are going on behind the scenes like with london and her eczema or eczema however you want to pronounce it 
we do have to take that into account as well so with that being said we are going to have to rehome simon and i don't think i'm going to talk too much about it i think this is all i'm going to say about it i'm just going to leave it here because i am really 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 upset i think that right now one of the things that i need is an emotional support animal so I am going to be looking into getting a documented emotional support animal. Well, that way we can go everywhere together. And if need be, I can just take out my paperwork and there you go. I have my support animal. I have everything that I need and I can walk and go freely and I can feel good about myself and just not have so much anxiety on myself. But we are going to start taking those steps and I just want to talk to you guys about that. All right, you guys, so I am sitting downstairs and I am just waiting to go upstairs. I wanna try to get some self-care done before London and Jonah wake up. I'm gonna probably soak my hands, soak my feet, but I'm gonna be going upstairs just to get some of that stuff done. But make sure you guys stay tuned because I am gonna be sharing a baking log with you guys today of baking some bread, baby. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys, so right now I am just back downstairs. I wanna go upstairs for a little bit. I want to go upstairs for a little bit while the kids are asleep because I want to try to because I do want to try to get some self-care done so I'm going to talk to you guys in just a little bit however I am going to be taking you guys along with me maybe I'm not going to share a baking log because I feel like I can do that in the video on its own and I don't want this video to be too long so I'm going to go upstairs and get some self-care done because I haven't been able to get anything done for myself and y'all I have something super super special planned so with that being said I will talk to you guys later because I have to get myself together okay surprising myself and doing some different things so I'm excited about that like I said earlier I don't know if I'm going to take you guys along with me I don't know if I'm going to share that I don't know if I'm going to share it or if it's just going to stay between me and my husband I will be sharing with you guys some new things because we have been talking for a long time now about getting married but I want to have a big wedding I mean this in the most humble way you guys because you guys don't know how much it meant to me going down to the courthouse to get married and then going to the vending machine and getting some chips and eating those chips while we sat on that bench and just talked I always want to see my family and friends and we always talked about us walking down the aisle seeing our family and friends walk down the aisle so I am just super excited to share that with you guys because it's been a long, long time coming for me. I don't know what's about to happen or how everything is about to play out, but I am really excited about what's to come. I've been writing in my journal, I've been reading, I've been planning, and you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and share with you guys what I've been planning because I have not shared anything with you guys. Let's go ahead and talk about it. I want to have a safe place where I can go and talk and we all can vent and help each other out and just spread love, hope, and joy, you guys, because that's what I am all for and that's what means the most to me. And in my life, I have been through some serious, serious rough patches where I thought that people were going to be my friend forever, but no one is probably going to be your friend forever, especially if they have some evil backside to why they want to be your friend in the first place. I just wanted to take you guys along with me today just to share a little bit of the behind the scenes. I am going to leave right now because I have to get some baking done and then also have to get some self care done and I am also going to be filming a cleaning video. So once again, thank you so much for coming over to my space and watching another log in this life of mine with me, Vantasia Drake. If this is your first time here and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Use my cake stand. Okay, okay, S stay, don't fall, don't fall. If you guys remember, I shared a vlog with you. I shared a vlog with you whenever I went to the Dollar Tree. Okay, why am I forgetting everything? Okay, 
whenever I went to the Dollar Tree to buy myself some books, you guys, I went there. I just wanted to touch base on that because everyone at Dollar Tree was actually really, really nice to me. And I just loved the environment and I loved whenever I went because nobody was mean. Like everybody was really nice. And that's why I love going to Dollar Tree. I'm always able to get what I need and everybody is just like, okay, here's this, here's that. I'll grab this and I'm gonna grab that. I wanted to sit you guys down and talk to you guys because whenever I went to Dollar Tree, I bought myself some books. I shared this with you guys in my description, but my aunt, she reached out to me and she helped me get some new journaling books for myself. And I was so excited, you guys, because for one, I really needed it. And two, I really wanted it because I was trying to rebrand and do some different things here on my YouTube channel. I absolutely love her. She texts me all the time and she always makes sure the babies and I are okay. She reminds me of one of the teachers that I had in my life who literally helped me out each and every time. I just needed one person there to help pick me back up. She is one of the people who reminds me of one of the teachers that I had as a kid growing up. Although she wasn't with me every single day of my life and she hasn't been here with me every single day of my life, it makes me feel it makes me feel so good on the inside knowing that someone cares about us. Go above and beyond so we can write out our plans, our goals, our achievements and things like that. So I know that I've been rambling, but I'm gonna be talking to you guys about something that I have been planning for years, you guys, years. And if you have been an OG with me since the very beginning of this life of mine, then you already know what I'm gonna say. For some time now, I have always wanted to create a space, not only for women, but also for men, for everyone, for everyone, you guys. Let me get my book just to make sure I say the right thing. Alrighty you guys, so now that I have you right there, I just want to go ahead and just let you guys know why I decided to speak up because I feel like it's really important for me. And it's also gonna be a way for me to share with you guys what I am wanting to do in my future and what my plans are and what they always have been for years now. And right now I just, I feel like I really had to be pushed in the right direction within myself, Vantage the Drake, to really realize that I am amazing, I am everything to myself, and I can do great things. And I just wanna share a little bit of that with you guys today. And I wanna share why I felt like I should speak up because you guys mean so much to me. And here on my channel, my channel, it means so much to me as well. And as I said earlier, I don't know if I'm gonna be sharing my ultimate surprise with you guys because that is a surprise for myself. My goal, hopes, and dreams is to honestly open up a self-care, love, hope, and opportunity shop for everyone, you guys. I have wanted to do this for so many years and it means so much to me to be able to say that this is what I wanna do and to have you guys here with me and I really hope you guys are gonna be on board with this because this is going to be a safe place for seriously everyone to come and to vent and to talk and to just let loose and to just have fun. I am still working out the details on how I want things to be in the future. I do want my self-love care shop to be a place for everyone and not just a single individual. I want it to be for everyone where we all can come and get some things done and feel good in the process. If you're someone who has words of wisdom for the next person, I wanna invite you to my self-love care shop so we can sit down talk about it and help someone else out in the process the person right there with me and who understood what needed to be done not in terms of things outside of the place but just in terms of your uniqueness your fullness and your creativity i've all you know you always just want that one person there with you to help you through that and right now, that's why I am so excited to be sharing with you guys my self-care love shop because it is something that I have always dreamt of and I just want to have a safe place. I want to have a safe place to where I want to have a safe place where I can go and talk and we all can vent and help each other out and just spread love, hope and joy, you guys, because that's what I am all for and that's what means the most to me. And in my life, I have been through some serious, serious rough patches where I thought that people were gonna be my friend forever, but no one is probably gonna be your friend forever, especially if they have some evil 
backside to why they want to be your friend in the first place so i don't know i just want so i just wanted to take you guys along with me today just to share a little bit of the behind the scenes i am going to leave right now because i have to get some baking done and then also have to get some self-care done and i am also going to be filming a cleaning video i did film part of it i've been doing cleaning here and there and just trying to get some things done with you guys and also take y'all along with me in the process just to make sure that fun and sharing fun videos that I love and I'm creating and that I know you guys are going to enjoy. So once again, thank you so much for coming over to my space and watching another log in this life of mine with me, Vantasia Drake. If this is your first time here and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next one because I have some planning that I have to get done and I'm super excited, so make sure you guys stay tuned. You guys, I I try so hard to look in the center of my camera whenever I talk, but it's so hard because I don't really know where to look. I don't know if I should look at the screen above the camera or if I should look at the lens. So that's why sometimes it probably looks as if, man, she is cockeyed. Man, her eye moving all types of stuff but that's okay um if you see me in person you already know what the wave is so without so without further ado i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye